Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome to today's Thresher Floor. I thank you guys for tuning in to this channel each and every Shabbat day. And today we're just going to talk about you have the access. You have a key that you can use each and every day, 24 hours, 7 days a week. You have your key to the access, to the throne. Yahushua paid the price for us. He is the mediator for us to Yahuwah. Use your key that you have, that he has provided to you. Your key is the mission, the right to enter in. You have the right now to enter in, to go boldly to his throne of grace. And that is in the scripture. You have a way to the narrow path. He has paid the price in blood. Guys, he paid a ransom that he did not owe. We have a right. We have a key now. Use your key. Use your assets. That is no excuse. He said every excuse is nailed to the cross. Mine, use it. Hallelujah. You have the permission to go and pray to him, talk to him, speak to him, approach him in the spiritual realm. And he will talk back to you. He said he sent back a comforter, a helper, the Ruach HaKodesh, to teach us all things and to bring all things back to our remembrance. Use your key, guys. It's time that we use our assets that we have. And the first scripture we're going to come from is Matthew chapter 16, verses 17 through 20. Matthew chapter 16, verses 17 through 20. It reads, And Yahushua answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Shimon, Bar not, for flesh and blood has not revealed it to you, but my Father which is in heaven. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but the Ruach HaKodesh, it will reveal all things to you. It will bring all things back to your remembrance. So the only way you can be, something can be revealed to you about Yahushua, or he has sent you a message, is through the Ruach. And I say unto you, number 18 says, and I say unto you, unto you, that you are keeper, and upon this rock I will reveal my called out assembly, and the gates of Sheol, or the gates of hell, shall not prevail against it. On this rock he is going to reclaim you. He is going to reclaim the church. You are the church. You are the called out assembly. Use your assets. He has already reclaimed you. He has rebuilt you. He has restored you. He has went inside your vessel and renovated you. He has cleaned you out, sweeped you out, and gunned you out of all those unclean and polluted, unclean spirits that you have in you. And it says, and it says, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It shall not rule against you. It shall not conquer against you. Because you have a father who is fighting your battle, and he is Yahuwah of war. Hallelujah. Number 19 says, and I will give unto you the keys of David. I'm sorry, the king of Yahuwah, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatsoever you secure on earth, Whatsoever you ask, whatsoever you do, he shall move it in heaven. It shall be moved just as. He said, we have not because we ask not. You have the access, people. Use your key. Hallelujah. Number 20 says, Then charge his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Yahushua HaMashiach because his time had not came yet. Guys, use your key. He has already reclaimed you through the blood. That's why he went to the cross. He reclaimed you. He took back the keys of hell and death. 
He has already reclaimed you. Let him come in and renovate you out, cleanse you out. And Psalm 51 says he will wash you with his hyssop, make you whiter than snow, create within you a clean heart and renew within you that right ruach. That's what he will do for you. Then you will have the assets. Let him give you the assets. Let him come in and rebuild you. Hallelujah. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 through 16. Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 through 16. And it reads, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into heaven, Yahushua, the son of Elohim, let us hold fast our profession, our faith. Hold fast unto your faith. Stay steadfast. Don't give up. Because you have a high priest. He is the great high priest. Hallelujah. You don't have to wait year after year to go to a high priest and, and slaughter an animal. Now, you can just go to Yahushua because he was the ultimate sacrifice. He was the lamb from Yahuwah. He paid the price in the blood. He was the lamb that was led to the slaughter and he did not say a word. He did what he's supposed to do for us. And guess how you have the access, guy? Because he was bru bruised for your iniquity. He was wounded for your transgression. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Guys, that's how we have the access. And when he was on the cross, they speared him in the side. And came out came blood and water to baptize and to re, re, have those reborn who had passed on before he got crucified. Hallelujah. Number 15 says, For we not have a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. We have a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our weakness or our infirmities. Because guess what, guys? He, hallelujah, was tempted as we are. You remember in Matthew chapter 4, it says that the Ruach led him into the wilderness to be tempted of Satan. He knows how it feels. In, in hallelujah, in Hebrews chapter 2, Verses 18, it says right here, for in him, for in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to help them that are tempted. He's able to aid you guys because he knows how it feels to be tempted. That's why he said he'll never leave you, deny you, neither will he forsake you. You're not alone in this. That's how you have the essence. Go and use it. Go to the throne of grace boldly, courageous, strong, joyful. He told us to rejoice, for he has overcome this world. Go to it and use your key. You have the key. Number 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Go boldly so we so we may help, so we may obtain mercy, obtain his kindness, his forgiveness, his love, and find grace to help in the time of need. He will help you in your time of need. Guys, he already knows that on this narrow path you will have trouble. That's why he said he'll never deny you, neither will he leave you, neither will he forsake you. He is with you until the end of this world. 
Use your key, guys. He will not leave you comfortless. He's a present help in your time of need. Hallelujah. Use your key. We're going to go to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 17 through 19. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 17 through 19. And it says, number 17, And came and preached peace to you which were far off and to them that were not. He came and preached peace unto them that were far off and to them that was near him. That's why he tell us in the word, hallelujah, when we go into the hedges and highways, they don't hear you, dust your feet off. When you go to a town and they don't want to accept your peace, take your peace back out the house with you. Dust your feet off that town and go to the next town. Go for out. Go out and preach his peace. Number 18 says, for, though, for through him we both have access, access by one Ruach unto the Father. By one Ruach unto the Father. We both have access. We have access, guys. We have attained the access. We have the key. He has attained access. We got an entryway. We have interest. We have the assets. We have attained interest to the kingdom. We have attained kingdom to Yahuwah's throne. Yahush is your mediator, your high priest. Talk to him. Tell him what's going on. He already know it before you talk to him. He just wants you to come to him and ask. And when you ask, don't ask without faith. Don't ask a miss. Ask in faith. Walk by faith and not by sight. Because Hebrews 11 and 1 tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6 tells us without faith it is impossible to please him, to move him. Move, y'all. Talk to him so y'all can move for you. I'm sorry. Because he says while his servant is yet speaking, he's yet moving. Use your assets, guys. You have it. Hallelujah. In number 19 it says, Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of Yahuwah. Did you hear that? You are no more outsiders. He said anyone that wants to come unto him, he won't cast you away. Anyone can come to him. He will no wise cast you away. His heart is open to the unbelievers, the Gentiles, and he's come back for his law sheets of Israel. Anyone can obtain and come to him. For Yah so loved the word that he sent back his only begotten son, that none should perish, but all should have everlasting life. All. Then it says in number 19, but therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners. You are no longer unknown or stranger to him. He loves you all. Come to him. Cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. Talk to him. Let him know your heart desires is to be with him. Use your assets, God. You have access to his throne. Hallelujah. And it says, but now you are fellow citizens. You are oneness with him. One body, one baptism, one ruach. Hallelujah. Now we are oneness with him. You don't have to be separated. Once you come into it and you be reborn again, you be baptized with the ruach, hakodesh, baptism of the fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are baptized by water. Oh, it's such an awesome feeling, guys, to know that you are one is with your father. Because once you become one, you can feel him all around you. You can feel his presence. You can smell it when he walk into the room. And you can hear his voice just speaking to you in a, a calm and, 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 and a good manner. 
Now, when he's mad with you, you would know because he would give you a commandment. He would not suggest anything. He would command you to do, get yourself right. Get righteous and holy. And the road of correction will steer you back to him, his first love. He is your first love. Hallelujah. Thank you, guys. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I'm sorry. Revelation chapter 3, verses 7 through 8. Revelation chapter 3, verses 7 through 8 says, And to the angel of the call out assembly in Philadelphia write these things said, He that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that opens and no man shuts, and shut and no man open. Guys, you have your key. Number eight says, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, and no man can shut it. For you have little strength, and have guarded my word, and have not rejected my name. You have not denied his name. You have not rejected his name. You learned of his name. Yahusha Hamashiach. Yahusha. You learned his name. You did not reject his name when you came into knowledge of him. So now you have your access. You have a door that is set before you. I remember Yahusha was showing me a dream. And in the dream, I had the dream back to back. The first night in his dream, it was a door. Me and my husband went to this door. It was at a ho it looked like a hotel room. No, a hotel, a motel. When we went to the door, I could not open the door. I said, Well, see, can you open the door? He could not open this door. And, and instantly I heard, Do not open the door. The next night, I went to the same door, guys. And it was, and it was so instantly that I opened the door. And when I opened the door, the angel was standing before me. And he told me to stay behind him. And as I was, as he was running, and I was running behind him, every door on both sides that was opening, all these demonic and unclean spirits that were coming out, the angel was cutting them down as I was running behind him. He was cutting down every demonic spirit that came before me, that tried to come against me. The angel of Yahoo was tearing them down, cutting them up. And he was letting me know then, you are mine. Anything that you ask me for, it shall be given. Nothing can come up against you as long as you following behind me, keeping my commandments, walking in my ways, keeping my statutes. We got to come into agreement with him, guys, to have the access to it. This anointing comes with a price. Salvation is free unto you. Salvation is free to be delivered because he has already paid that price in blood. Hallelujah. He paid a ransom that he did not owe. Hallelujah. The next night, the, the, the following week, I'm sorry, he showed me a dream, hallelujah, of this blue car, blue Cadillac. My brother was trying to get in, and he could not turn it. He had the key. So I heard to get in and turn the key, and it, it, it came on immediately. And I said, and I asked him, I said, yeah, why, why my brother could not use it? He said he don't have the access. You have access to me. Hallelujah. You shall keep people. Hallelujah. It's an awesome thing to obtain favor from Yahuwah. Did not Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob obtain the favor of Yahuwah? Keep his commandments. Stay obedient to him. And he said you shall eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 1. Verses 18. It reads, I am he that lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. He is alive forevermore. He went to the cross, guys. 
He was beaten. He was bruised. He was whipped. He was nailed to the cross, guys. They put a crown of thorns upon his head, of thorns upon his head. They put a reed in his hand. They gave him a, a purple cloth that represent priests. They did not know what they was doing. Hallelujah. Purple mean of the priesthood, the high priest. Hallelujah. The Levitical line. Hallelujah. And as he, they nailed him to the cross. He didn't say a word, guys. They put him in the tomb, and he arose on the third day with all power in his hand. Now he's sitting at the right hand of our Father. He is the mediator for us all. He's pleading your case each and every day. Hallelujah. And it says, Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. He has took back the keys. Where the first Adam fell, he did not fall. He conquered all. He conquered all. Oh, death, where is thy sting? He arose. Hallelujah. And was showing us that we can live forevermore. Flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven, but through the Ruach you can. Hallelujah. And you can live all eternity with your Father. Psalms 103. Chapter, ch Psalms chapter 103, verses 17 through 19 says, But the mercy of Yahuwah is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that respect him. Those that fear him, those that respect him. Those that come and show him the respect that he's due. Those that praise him. Those that acknowledge him. And his righteousness unto children and your children. All the way down, he said he'll bless them down to the fifth generation. But it's up to you. You have the access. Pray for the blessings. And pray that these curses be cast down from your generations. Pray from the beginning of your generation to the end of your generation to be cast down. Out. And ask him to bless your lineage, your generations. Hallelujah. Number 18 says, To such, to such a guard his commandments, and to them that remembers his commandments, to do them. Do his commandments. Remember his commandments. Rehearse the scriptures. Rehearse what he had told you. Rehearse the agreement that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Rehearse them each and every day. Keep his commandments. That is what he's asking you. He said to keep, to guard his commandments. That means to keep his commandments. And to those that remember his commandments, to do them. Remember them and do them. Don't just push them aside. Don't just sweep them up under your rug. Remember them. Put them in your mind and your heart and to remember them and to rehearse them and do them. He says what's doing in earth is doing in heaven. So on this Shabbat day, as we come to a day of rest on Shabbat, guess what? Yahushua is also rest because he told us in Genesis on the seventh day, he rested. That's a day of rest for us. Number 19. Yahuwah has prepared his throne in heavens, in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. He has already made ready. He has equipped and arranged his, his throne. He has prepared his throne in heaven. Remember in John 14 and 1 to 2, it tells us, Let not your heart be troubled. 
For if you believe in Yahuwah, also believe in me, for I went away to prepare a place where I am, you may be also. He's coming back for us. He's going to come back for us. But he said, no man know the time, not the hour, when a son of man shall appear, but be ready. Be ready when he appears. When the son of Adam appears, be ready. Isaiah chapter 22, verses 22. Isaiah chapter 22, verses 22 says, And the key of the house of David we are lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. Did we not just read that in Revelation? Isaiah was given this prophecy. He had been given this about Yahushua. He will prepare, he will prepare upon his shoulder the house, the key of the house of David will be upon his shoulder. He shall prepare it and arrange for it. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 through 24. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 through 24. And it says, Hebrews 10, 19 through 24 says, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Yahushua. Now you can come in courageous to the, to, to the holies of holiness by the blood of Yahushua. He paid the price in blood. By a new and living way which he has consecrated for us through the veil that he that is to save his flesh. He has already consecrated himself. He has been sanctified. He has been set apart for us through the veil that is said his flesh, through his flesh. The covering for us. He has made a new covenant. Renewed covenant. By, lit, by a, a new and living way which has been set apart for us. His body. And it says in number 21. And having a high priest over the house of Yahuwah. He is the high priest over the house of Yahuwah. Over the house of his children. He is the high priest. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our body washed with a pure water. Let us hold fast the faith of our believing without wavering, for he is true that promise. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good work. Let us invite each other unto love and a good work. Invite the people to his household. Go out and proclaim his gospel. Go out and tell them about him. Not without your faith wavering, but in good faith. Go out in faith. Don't let it waver. That means walking by faith and not by sight. Go out and invite them unto his love and to the good works. And to do good works. Tell them to love each other and do your works. Faith without works is dead alone. Faith without works is dead, guys. You can have the faith, but not the works. You can do the works, but don't have faith. You got to have both of them. Have your faith as you go out there and do your work. Hallelujah. The last one we're going to go to is Luke chapter 11, verses 15. Luke chapter 11, verses 15. Luke chapter 11. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had the wrong page. Luke chapter 11, verses 15. I'm sorry, Luke chapter 11, verses 52. Sorry, not 15, but 52. And it says, Go unto the lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge, Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in, ye hindered. Woe unto my counselors, my advisors, my legal advisors. Woe unto you, lawyers, who give my children advice, 
legal advice. For you have taken away the key of knowledge. You have taken away my knowledge, my understanding, my wisdom of my word. You have taken away my words. You, enter, you didn't even come in yourselves, but the ones who are entering in, you tried to stop them from coming in. You're hindering them from coming into my kingdom boldly. So guys, if you know someone is not living the right life, if you know that they're being a hindrance unto you from getting a closer walk with, with Yahusha, pray for them. But don't let that hinder you from having a closer relationship with our, our Messiah, our Yahusha HaMashiach. We have already read that anyone come boldly to anyone can come boldly to the throne of grace. Because you have attained mercy and grace. So go boldly to his throne of grace because you have the assets. Use your key, guys. You have attained the assets. Go and use your key because you have an entryway now. I love you guys. Yahoo love you. Don't forget to say thank you, Yahusha. Have a blessed and peaceful Shabbat day. Love you. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel. Have a blessed and peaceful day.
mountain of heaven Come on, take from the bread at my table Drink, drink, drink from the fountain of heaven Come on, take from the bread at my table Drink, drink, drink from the fountain of heaven Come on, take from the bread at my table Drink, drink, drink from the fountain of heaven